So, slight movement. Her responses and cognitive abilities seem to work as intended. Good morning, my dear. Now, sit up straight. Five seconds late, the demons would have torn you apart. The great Odin spared your life, but left you broken. But that's okay, because I fixed you. No, you know what? I made you better. <sighs> Remarkable, isn't it? What? No, 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 you stay down. The anesthetics haven't left your system yet. Oh, my head. Okay, let's see here. Speech should be fine. I prepared the tissue. Yeah, I gave the bone structure a checkup as well. And the arm. How does it feel? Strange feeling, isn't it? When it's bonding to you. Huh. I know. I have a few of my own. <laughs> anyway, I have much to prepare. You rest for now. Anderson, the CEO of Borkorp. The voice you're hearing is my wife, Sarah. <laughs> she's, uh, she's up on the surface, well. Unfortunately, 
you and I are stuck down here. The things happening down there are happening up here as well. And it's getting worse by the minute. What did you do to me? I brought you back from Helheim. Henrik, calm down. The journey to save her almost killed you. I don't want to lose you. Since she already has the prosthetic installed, tell her about it. Fine. Your new arm holds great power. Charged by Atrium, it can channel a magnificent force. It's based upon ancient knowledge uncovered by my wife. And brought into fruition by Henrik. The arm is called Jerngraper. You brought uh, a hand with you. Use the Jerngraper to extract the RFID from it. You'll gain access to all doors with that level of security clearance. Now try it. Scan the hand on the table and then use it downstairs on the lock. I know this is a lot to ask, but we're not taking this lightly. Please, I'll tell you more as you go. It? Oh, magnificent! Praised be Odin and all of his sons! Oh, you've done well. I almost died. And but I... you didn't. And now you've taken the first step in my plan to save this world of ours. Oh, I have full fun and chance. Yes, but... Now, now, there is much I have to show you. And, and time is of the essence. At the end of the hallway is a room. The key code is 3425. I'll direct you once you've entered the room. Please, leave questions for afterwards. Now go, 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 go. Perfect, you're here. So far, you've met my- You said you'd answer my questions. <sighs> Fine. Ask away. I don't know where to start. What is this place? What I built this. Spent years of mortal life toiling away at plans, scraping together resources and favors to turn this into reality. A place to research the things thought to be myth and superstition. A place to research the Absalom, the last divine artifact left in Midgard. You've already seen it, on your way down. That statue, upstairs? At first, we used ancient knowledge and combined it with Boar Corp technology to open rifts between worlds. We made enormous progress, discovered new worlds and unimaginable technologies. But some unwanted things came back with entering our world, and now everything is just falling apart. I'm trapped down here, and we have lost control of the entire facility. The only way to stop the world from falling into chaos is to collect nine keys and insert them into the Absalom. The artifact acts as the gate, and the keys will keep Midgard from being littered with the roots spreading across the surface. And unless we stop it, our existence and that of all living things will become endless torment. How... how do you know where the keys are? Years of research alone and with my associates, scouring through endless texts of the Nine Worlds. Who is Alice? Enough questions! You have the key! Order must be restored to the realms of Yggdrasil and the evils from beyond must be locked down! Insert this key into the Absalom and remember what I've taught you. Do that and you will succeed. Now get out of here, go!
Relax. Just relax. There's something I want to show you. Something you need to see. Sarah, you were right. Tell me, did you see him? Did you see the spirit from the machine? What the hell did you do? Don't you, you see? You killed me! You have direct access to the spirit's lair. None of us can reach it but you. You can go there anytime you want. Did you have the Jan Graper with you? Yes! You but... can even bring things with you? Oh, fantastic! I believe that the ether that you just came from is the home of the spirit from the machine. I believe that this spirit is Loki. Wait a minute, honey. You can't just assume that. We don't know. You are crazy. I've had enough of this. No, please listen to me. I'm sorry Henrik did that to you. We knew perfectly fine that it wasn't going to kill you, and it wasn't like we could ask you to, to die for us. I'm not a test subject. You, you can't kill me for some damn experiment. I promise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, please don't let the world end. Sarah, tell her what you told me before. Beneath the shadow of Yggdrasil, in the Well of Wisdom, is where the final artifact key can be recovered. In the depth, under the Tree of All Things. But that is not all it holds. On your way to the depth, you should be able to recover another artifact. The Eye of Odin. When you die, you have to find orbs before you can return, correct? I do. If you activate the Eye of Odin on those orbs, then you will touch them with divine magic. Then, placing them in the keyholes won't just let you pass back to Midgard. It will let you destroy the ether with a spirit left inside. We just need to find a route leading to the well. I know of one. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm sorry I didn't tell you, Sarah. Before I got in contact with you again, I found the well. When I did, I, th I thought I could fix all of this. And just like the All-Father Odin, I sacrificed my eye for wisdom. Oh, Henrik. It didn't work. The route that leads to the well is underneath us, in the waste treatment plant. Scan my hand, and you'll gain access to it through the elevator. That should do it. Head down to the waste treatment plant. It should be a straight path from there. Good luck. And be careful down there. Never let the lights go out. In the worst case scenario, you always have the young ape. Touch this world without the help of disgusting machines. <laughs> and all of this, thanks to you, you should have seen the face of Dr. Anderson when I told him about his dead wife. Using her voice, easily manipulated fool. Nine keys to lock the gate. No. Nine 
apologies for Wolf the Gate. For turning the universe to the state before the gods closed it to everyone but them. <laughs> you even handed me the eye, the last key to my liberation. I'm so sorry. I couldn't finish it. You have to run. Run away. Henrik! You're back. It cannot be. You, you, you must. Did, did Loki do this to you? Oh, Loki. He will pay. I swear to it. A, a soul stone. You have to bring one of them here. There's one in the room across. Henrik! I found it! Henrik! Henrik! Hold it out for me. Yes. No. No longer will I be contained. No. No longer feel this constant pain.
destroy that bastard and to accomplish this there are a lot of questions to answer questions about me when Loki had you made he had something in mind a great purpose now I suspect we can find out more in Helheim so I need you to find another route back there and Helheim stop ordering me around if you know so much about me then just tell me I need to know when, uh, when Loki Loki cut my body in half in his indulgence of my torture. He spoke of his daughter. Her name was Hell, and she died long ago. The things he said makes me think that the artifact tissue used for your creation was from Hell herself. Loki wanted his daughter back. Yes, so he made you. Right now, nothing in Midgard has the power to stand up against Loki. So our best chance is starting at your roots and search from there. Since the Absalom is out of control and the roots of Yggdrasil are spreading, there should be one leading to Helheim. Have you seen any route that could lead us there? I did see one. In the West Wing. A freight elevator. It can take us to a place with a route I used to get out of Helheim. And now we're willfully going to the world of the dead. This... It's crazy. Madness. Hey, Henrik. What's it like on Midgard? All right. You haven't actually seen the world. Well, it's bleak. Gray cities. Broken countries. I don't think I ever saw a future in Midgard that didn't involve complete destruction. That doesn't sound very appealing. Well, it, it wasn't all bad. Midgard is home. Well, it was home. People mostly toiled to stay alive, but everyone had something to hold on to in order to stay sane. What did you hold on to before all of this happened? Family. I had Sarah and Alice. They were more important to me than anything. Henrik, who is Alice? Alice was our daughter. She fell ill and not even Borokorg could help her. The guilt drove me and Sarah further, beyond the sights of humans, to find a cure for her. That's when we found the Absalom, and with it, a voice in the machine. Loki. At first it was a blessing. He helped us cure Alice, and pushed our research and exploration to its peak. We were at the edge of pushing humanity beyond our limitations. Then he infiltrated our system from within. By the time I realized what he was doing to the staff, it was too late. The last resort was to trigger the emergency protocol and seal the entry shaft. What happened to your family? <sighs> Sarah must have died in the initial chaos. I probably knew it at the time when I heard her voice again. None of that mattered. 
the look on Ava's face when she heard her mother's voice again. All my suspicions just went away. So I listened to my wife and gathered as many people as I could and sent them out to look for those fucking keys. Alice wanted to help, like everyone else. She never came back. But I thought I could find her and that I could free her. But it was too late. I'm sorry, Henrik. Yeah, me too. Without my obsessive searching, none of this would ever have happened. <sighs> Alas. When it's done, it's done. Now I need your help to fix this. Loki must be annihilated for the sake of everyone and everything in the Nine Worlds. I plead to you, you must destroy Loki. <laughs> Happen now. You know, if Loki wasn't wrong about the chaos this will bring to the world. <sighs> the nine realms will in time grow into one. Loki's plan was a success. <laughs> but he will not be allowed to rule the new world he created. That alone puts my spirit at rest, I guess. What will happen to everyone? In Midgard? Or I suppose Maegard isn't a thing anymore. The people will endure great suffering with these changes, but humanity will prevail. We always have. What I want to know is, what are you going to do? Helheim bows to your will now. With the realms united, there will be little stopping you. You could bring order to the chaos hell. Perhaps, in due time. The dead will walk among the living. We'll see. In due time.
Father, wake up! The Absolute has started Fimble Winter, and Helheim has awakened from its slumber. Awaken Odin and get my hammer. We have to pay a visit to Helheim again. 